All right, we're going to go to the camera and correct our math lesson 1.2. So please grab your math workbook. I'm going to go over to that camera right now so you can see. All right, so we're going to get out our math book. Let's go to lesson 1.2. Lesson 1.2. And so we already did the lesson part, so we're just correcting the homework. All right. So grab a pencil or a pen so you can make your corrections if you need to. All right, it says, number one, Jack puts two photos on each of seven pages of his photo album. How many photos does he use? Complete the jumps on the number line by adding arrows. Looks to me like they're doing jumps of two. So we have um, seven pages. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so how many jumps did we do? Seven jumps. How big were the jumps? Two. So we have seven groups of two equals two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. 14 equals 14. So Jack uses 14 photos. Okay. Number two says, why do you skip count by twos on the number line? Okay. So why do we skip count? Because it says Jack uh, puts two photos on each page okay that's why we jump we skip count by two is because it says there were two photos on each page why do you make seven jumps on the number line because it says jack has seven pages of photos. Okay. Remember, if you need to pause, please do that so that you can get everything fixed. And make sure that you've done this before you start grading or correcting this with me. I want you to try it on your own first. If you have it wrong, then you'll just fix it while we're correcting it. Tony buys seven packages of mini muffins. There are three mini muffins in each package. How many mini muffins does Tony buy? Use the number line to help find the answer. So there's seven packages. That means I'm going to be doing seven hops, and the hops are going to be three at a time. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. We did jumps of three because it says there's three in each package, and we did seven jumps. So what is our answer? 21 muffins, mini muffins, that is. Okay. Okay, fix whatever you need to fix on this page. When you're finished, unpause the video and come back to number five. Okay, Mrs. Calvino's classroom has six rows of desks. Each row has four desks. Explain how to use skip counting to find how many desks there are. Okay, explain. So, I can skip count by fours six times, because I'm gonna do it six times over and over um, to find out how many desks there are, okay? I can skip count by fours six times to find out how many desks there are. Okay, so your number line is 
you're going to have um, Okay, so if we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, they're kind of close, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, um, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty, that's about all I can do. Okay, so we're going to jump by fours. So there's one jump to that four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24. So we have six jumps of four. Six groups of four equals 24. All right, kind of as a hard one to see because it's very um, messy. <laughs> okay, Alyssa has saved $77 from mowing lawns. She spends $34 on back to school shopping. How much of her savings does Alyssa have left? So we're going to show the difference. So we have $77. Minus $34. 7 minus 4 is 3. 7 minus 3 is 4. She has $43 left. Okay. Pause that if you need to. All right, number 7 says, Tina drew this number line to show 5 times 3 equals 15. 5 groups of 3 equals 15. Is her number line correct? Why or why not? Okay, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. We're doing jumps of 2. So does her number line work? No. Because she did jumps of two when it should be jumps of three. So if you have something pretty close to that, that's fine. If you don't have that, anything like that, then you'll want to fix it. All right, number eight. Draw a number line to compare skip counting by fours four times to skip counting by eights two times. How are they alike? How are they different? Okay, so we've got two number lines. Okay, skip count by fours four times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. That's all I can fit there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I'm going to almost do 16 on here easily. Okay, 16. All right, so the first one says by fours four times. So there's four, eight, 12, 16. The, the next one is skip count by eights two times. Eight and eight. They're very close. These are further apart because I couldn't write them so close. So two jumps and there's eight in each jump. Okay. So they um, both equal. How much do they both equal? 16. How are they different? 
they make different jumps. One is by fours and one is by eights. Okay. Pause, pause, pause if you need to. All right, number nine. Diane uses two feet of ribbon to decorate each gift she is wrapping. She wraps seven gifts. How much ribbon does she need? Show how to find the answer using the number line. Okay, we're going to be jumping twos, jumps of two, and we're going to do it seven times. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 14 feet of ribbon. Number 10, Jerry has a bookshelf with four shelves. He places four books on each of the shelves. How many books are on the bookshelf? Show how to find the answer using the number line. So we're going to do jumps of four. Okay. Four, eight, 12, 16. That's one, two, three, four jumps. So 16 books. Sloppy, I know. I have my pen too. All right, so make sure you have all your corrections in here. Go back, rewind if you need to. Um, we'll do this next week. So once you're done with that, go ahead and put it away and grab out your um, math interactive notebook and your folder, your little envelope. And in the envelope, you're going to find this paper. So you can just tear it off. I've already torn mine off. Tear it off and you're going to need scissors and a glue stick and something to write with. Go ahead and get our glue and our scissors. All right. Let's see, maybe I'm going to try these because I'll fit my hand a little better. Okay, so we're going to See if I can back it up a little bit. So you can see. So we're just going to cut on that dotted line. Okay, and turn it. Turn it one more time. Okay, so we can put the straps off to the side, and it looks like this. And so we're not going to cut in between it. We don't need to do that. That would we'd just be gluing them all back in anyway. So we're just going to open up our math interactive notebook. We did this page and that second page, and so now we're just going to glue this page down. So the best way to do a big glue like this is to go around the edges like this, okay, and then just make a big X in the middle, and that's plenty of glue. Turn it over, smooth it down, okay, so make sure you turn your glue back down, so you save your glue. I'm getting broken when you put your lid on there. Make sure it snaps. All right. All right, it says, I can use the number line to join equal groups. You can use the number line to join equal groups. So we're going to be doing jumps again. We're going to be doing five groups of three, five jumps size of three. So. There's one jump. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's two jumps. One, two, three. There's three jumps. One, two, three. There's four jumps. There's five jumps. And we land on 15.
Okay. If you need some time, pause the video and then come back when you're ready. The next one says six groups of two. So our jumps are going to be two and our, our how many we're going to do is six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. The jump sizes are two, and I did it six times, and that lands me at 12. <coughs> Excuse me. My throat. All right. Four groups of four. We're going to do four jumps, and the jump size is going to be four. So go ahead and pause if you need more time. But we're going to go ahead and get started on there. And when you're done, you can just click back on and we'll be right here, ready to go. All right, so our first jump is one, two, three, four. That's one jump. One, two, three, four. That's two jumps. One, two, three, four. That's three jumps. One, two, three, four. That's four jumps. I did four jumps, and each size is four. And so I land on 16. Okay, and if it's easier, you can just count one, two, three, four, and then stop. One, two, three, four, and then stop. This last one says nine groups of two. So our jump size is going to be two. So there's one jump. There's two jumps. There's three jumps. There's four jumps. There's five jumps. There's six jumps, seven, eight, and nine. We land on 18. All right, so go ahead and you make sure you have this in your interactive notebook and all filled out for all of them. You can go back and watch it, um, pause it, whatever would work best for you. Um, if you have any questions, though, let me know. Let me come back so I can see you. You can see me. So if you have any questions, let me know, um, and I'll do my best to get back to you as fast as possible. We are going to do some Zoom meetings today, so um, I want to make sure that, you know, you know that I'm going to get back to it if I am busy. All right. Nice job, boys and girls. Um, don't forget to answer your question. Um, your quiz for math, and you have um, your vocabulary test, your verb test in Edmodo, and then your spelling city test on spelling city. All right, don't forget to check your agenda. That will be the most helpful for you, and I will see you soon.